Hey, what's up guys? Jacob Perry, founder of Patagonia Bee Products, back with you for episode 40 on this vlog we're doing on Patagonia uh, honey beekeeping and what we're doing as a, as a startup. And um, so today I want to talk about bee death and the most beautiful story I heard regarding bee death. And as background, this came, we heard this story uh, when we were down in Patagonia this last January, talking with all of the beekeepers in the cooperative and interviewing them and asking them different questions about what their you know favorite part of beekeeping is, when they got into it, what their favorite honey is, etc. We were hanging out with this um, younger beekeeper named Philippe, super cool guy, um, very, very poetic in, in his view of the world, his kind of beliefs about just, his, he's kind of a let live and let live kind of guy, um, really just wants to follow and observe and be part of the natural processes uh, rather than kind of dramatizing them and forcing them and trying to change them like we humans are so good at, at believing we can do, right? And so we asked him, what, what have bees taught him? What has he learned from bees? And his answer, everybody's answer, that we, when we ask this to everybody, all the different beekeepers, they all have different answers, and um, which kind of shows everything that bees can, can teach different people. His answer was beautiful and poetic. I wanted to share it with you guys. He told us the story of when one day he was walking to the forest. He loves to observe the bees, go see where, where they're going, what flowers they're going to, what they're doing, what their activity is. And one day he stumbled across a bee in a flower. He came up and he saw a bee in a flower. He went a little bit closer and realized the bee was actually dead. And it hit him in that moment that this bee had chosen to go to its favorite flower to die. That that was its moment. It left the hive, didn't want to be a burden to the colony. Bees are one of the true, the eusocial animals, right? Meaning true, true social. That it, it really, it's all for the good of the hive. They're not, they're not actually looking out for their own good, right? They'll sacrifice themselves for the hives. Something most humans won't even do. And, um... And that's what this bee had chosen to do, is to go to its favorite flower with its favorite scent, aroma, feel, color, um, the sweetest nectar. And that's where this bee chose to finish its life as part of the natural cycle that happens. It was time, and the bee went there to die and be away from the colony that was still buzzing with work and making honey and trying to keep the queen alive and the colony going. And uh, it was a beautiful story, and, and especially the way he expresses it. Uh, and we'll be sharing that with you guys later. But I wanted to um, share with you a little recap of that. And uh, we'll be getting some of that information out to you guys soon on the professional videos that we got when we were down there. So be looking out for that. Those will be coming out soon. And we'll catch you on the next episode. Bye.